Hey guys, how's it going? Marsbucks here, and welcome to the player reveal, the top 50 highest rated players in FIFA 15. Now, I know every FIFA YouTuber and his dog's going to be making a video about this, because it does generate quite a bit of hype around this time of the year, month to go until FIFA 15 comes out. We want to know who are the highest rated players going to be, but guys, I'm going to do mine a little bit differently. We're going to be doing a bit of a comparison to what these players were in FIFA 14 and compare them to what they will be in FIFA 15 and as well as that I'm sure as you might remember I did a few predictions on certain players that would get an upgrade and a downgrade so I'm about to get found out here we're going to go through and see if any of the predictions that I made have actually pulled off or maybe I look like a fool we're about to find out but let's kick it off with number 50 and this is going to be Giorgio Chiellini now he is of course an 86 rated center back at the start of FIFA 14 or toward the end of FIFA 14. And now in FIFA 15, it has been confirmed he will be an 84 rated center back, which is very surprising considering that he actually got a team of the season card. And I thought he actually had a relatively decent season. But then again, you do have to maintain a pretty high level to, to keep an overall of about 86. So there you go, he will be an 84 rated center back. And yeah, there you go, a little bit surprising, but there you go. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, I bet you Suarez has probably bitten off those two points that he's missing from his overall. As a matter of fact, if Suarez goes from an 88 to a 90 in FIFA 15, then you'll know where that extra two points came from. Coming up at number four is Andrea Pirlo. Now, he was an 86 rated center midfielder. Uh, and have a look at this stat in particular, 58 pace with 91 passing. And now let's have a look at his FIFA 15 card. Oh my dear God, that is a pace downgrade of 15. And he's only aged by one year. I mean, like, has he broken a hip or something? I mean, that's incredible. The, the pace is ridiculous. You know, I love Pirlo. I love the beard. I love the passing. But I don't care with that sort of pace. I don't care if, even if you are a centre midfielder. I can't give you a game. But still, he looks fantastic. 82 dribbling, 96 shooting, 55 defending, 91 passing. 59 physicality and 99 beard. And as you can see from his profile picture, he's clearly not impressed with his 43 pace. Hashtag PLO is not impressed. Now, I did actually predict that he would be getting a downgrade. I said that he would go to an 85, but he still got a downgrade. So my prediction of PLO getting a downgrade has pulled off. That's one of one. Come on. Coming in at number 48 is going to be Xabi Alonso, who was recently transferred from Real Madrid to, of course, Bayern Munich. He was 85 rated and a center defensive midfielder uh, toward the end of FIFA 14. And now at the start of FIFA 15, it's been revealed he will be an 84 rated, still center defensive midfielder. Only this time, he's going to be playing for Bayern Munich throughout the entire game. And that is, of course, if he doesn't get transferred, but still, that is it. He will be 84 rated, a one overall decrease. And once again, I did not actually do a prediction on Xabi Alonso. So out of three players, I only made a prediction on one. But so far, I'm 100%, which is good. Next up, player number 47. This is going to be Iker Casillas. He was an 86 rated goalkeeper at the end of FIFA 14. And of course, we know that he has not had that greatest season, especially toward the end of his season last year. So we are not surprised that he's getting a downgrade. I predicted it as well. I've kind of spoiled that, but whatever. Um, yes, Ike Casillas. He will be an 84-rated goalkeeper. But did I predict him to get a downgrade? You betcha. I said I said he would be an 85-rated goalkeeper. And at the time, I thought that, oh, you know, I've been a little bit lenient there. I probably should have given him more. And it's, as it turns out, I probably should have. He was an 84-rated. Still predicted he'd get a downgrade. That's two of two. I'm going all right so far. And, you know, to be completely honest, I think it's a little bit harsh that he got you know, the downgrade that he did because I thought that he was stunning for the Netherlands in the World Cup. I'm just saying. Now for player number 46, and this is going to be Cesc Fabregas, who is, of course, moving to Chelsea, or he has moved to Chelsea, and he's been very good for Chelsea recently. And he is an 86 rated sentiment, or he was an 86 rated sentiment filter in FIFA 14. But now in FIFA 15, quite surprising, he's got a two overall downgrade to an 84. And no, I did not see that coming because I did not predict that he would get a downgrade at all. So it was still two of two. But anyway, no, an 84 downgrade was quite surprising, especially considering the form he's in for Chelsea. He's been terrific. Maybe he will get a bit of a kick up the ass in terms of, uh, in terms of an overall before the game comes out. We never know, but still... Even if it is only an 84 rating at the start of FIFA 15, surely that's going to be room for all his informs that he's going to get eventually throughout the season because this guy has been on fire. And now for the first goalkeeper, number 45 is going to be Hugo Lloris, an 84 rated goalkeeper toward the end of FIFA 14 for Tottenham. And now at the start of FIFA 15, he will be an 85 rated goalkeeper. Now, I don't know if he has earned this because of him being an incredible goalkeeper and he just gets the one overall increase or if you know, I've got a feeling that relative, like all goal, most goalkeepers will be getting an upgrade of some sort because, I mean, we see Neuer, who's gone from an 86 to a 90. Now, we already know that he's been a beast goalkeeper, but I get the feeling EA are going to be bumping up the level or overall of goalkeepers a little bit more than 
what they were, even if the player did not necessarily have that great a season. But still, Hugo Lloris does get an upgrade. And once again, I did not expect him to, or I didn't predict him to get an upgrade or a downgrade. So still neutral there. Next one coming up is quite an interesting one. This is going to be Martinez. 84-rated center defensive midfielder for Bayern uh, toward the end of FIFA 14. He is number 44. And Javi Martinez in FIFA 15 will be an 85-rated center back. It's a completely different change. He will now no longer be able to be a striker, even though I highly doubt there would be many people trying to play Martinez as a striker. But whatever. Doesn't matter. He will be a center back now, 85-rated. I must not have seen enough of Bayern because I, this actually took me by a little bit of surprise that he would get put all the way back to a center back. But then again... It's not all too surprising that you see center defensive midfielders go back to a center back every now and again. For a prime example, my um, Mascherano. And once again, I did not do a prediction for this player, so we're still two of two. Only three more to go now. Number 43 is going to be Sergio Busquets for Barcelona. He was an 85-rated center defensive midfielder at the end of FIFA 14. And now in FIFA 15, it's official. He will still be an 85-rated center defensive midfielder. Now, this has actually caught me off. Uh, a little bit surprising as well. I would have thought for sure that Busquets would have gotten a downgrade, especially considering you've got Pirlo, Xabi Alonso, and Cesc Fabregas underneath this guy. Now, I am not a Barcelona hater in any way. I actually kind of prefer Barcelona over Real Madrid, to be totally honest, even though I don't really support either of the two. But that surprises me. An 85 still for Busquets, because he hasn't really done much, has he? I mean, is that just me or... But either way, whatever. He is an 85 rated uh, center defensive midfielder still in FIFA 15. And no, I did not put a prediction down for this player. I did not say he'd get upgraded or downgraded. Even though I kind of surprised myself, I would have thought for sure that he would have been downgraded. But still, there you go. Second to last player and number 42 is going to be Jerome Boateng. And he's an 83 rated center back uh, for Bayern Munich. Now, this guy was an absolute tank of a center back, uh, you know, like back for Bayern in FIFA 14. And now in FIFA 15, he's only gotten even better Guys, this will, this card will be unbelievable. He's an 85-rated center back, 77 pace, and he just looks like a freaking tank. That is incredible. He just looks like a stunning, stunning center back. I cannot wait to use this guy. He's going to be absolutely terrific in FIFA 15 next year. He did go up by two overall points. And once again, no, I did not put a prediction down for this player because I didn't think he'd be going up or down. But wouldn't you know it, he went up and he went up. This is an insane card. And the final play, ladies and gentlemen, player 41. Don't forget, players 40 to 31 will be coming out soon. We have one matter. 87 rated at the end of FIFA 14. And at the start of FIFA 15, it's official. He will be 85 rated, a center attacking midfielder. And guys, I absolutely, just absolutely told you, because in my downgraded Premier League video, I copped a ridiculous amount of slack for certain players that I said would be getting a downgrade. I got a lot of heat for saying that Mata would be an 85-rated center attack and midfielder in FIFA 15. So to everyone that doubted me, I want to very calmly and humbly say, fuck you, I totally told you so. You can suck a dick, I win. Come on, 85-rated center attack and midfielder. He's still higher rated than Fabregas, which is... Kind of ridiculous. I would have thought at least they'd be equal. Maybe even Fabregas higher. But I don't care. I win with 3 of 3. We're on form. This is great. We're, let's bring on the next 10. That's incredible. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, guys. I've had fun. I hope you've had fun. Uh, the next 40 to 31 players rated will uh, be coming out soon. And I'll be coming out with a new video soon, of course. Uh, I'll still try to get Bradford out to you as soon as possible. And yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this one, guys. And peace out. Bye-bye.